Good day everyone, welcome to Jiggy Math. So we will be finding out the integral of the inverse trigonometric functions which are arc sine x, arc cosine x, and arc tangent x. We know that there are existing uh, derivatives of this and I would like you to go back to it because we will be needing those in integrating these functions. Okay, now before we go to the integration, we need to recall also how do we do integration by parts. This will be the main strategy, the main technique that we are going to use to integrate those functions. And this is how it goes. The integral of u dv over dx with respect to x is equal to uv minus the integral of v du over dx with respect to x. Okay, so make sure that you can express uh, the integrand as, uh, as factors of two, okay, or as a product of two factors. Now, um, it is crucial that you will be choosing the right dv over dx, so something that is easier to integrate, okay? Uh, do not choose something that, that will make, uh, you know, the expression more complex. Okay, so um, let's start with integration of arc sine x. Okay, so arc sine x with respect to x. So notice that there is just one factor here, but you can express this as the integral of 1 times arc sine x dx. Since we are really looking for the integral of arc sine x, so it is just... Uh, uh, it, it's, it makes more sense if we are going to let u be equal to arc sine x, okay? So we let u be equal to arc sine x, and then we get the derivative of this, which is uh, du over dx is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And our dv over dx will be the other factor, which is 1, okay? And then it follows that when you, when you integrate 1, so v is equal to x. Now we have all of this four information that we can plug in in the formula of the integration by parts. Okay, so um, uv, so arc sine x times x, so this is our uv, and then minus the integral of v, which is x, and then du over dx. Okay, all right, so now what we need to take care of is to integrate this one, which uh, looks more manageable, correct? And uh, in this case, we are going to use uh, integration by substitution, wherein we let u be equal to 1 minus x squared, and then the du over dx, or du is equal to negative 2x at dx. Okay, so what is the next step? Express this now in terms of u, and it's going to be x over u to the power of half, and then from here, we can say that our dx is equal to du over negative 2x. Okay, so we will bring out the constant here, which will become positive 1 half. And then the integral of uh, u to the power of negative 1 half is u to the power of 1 half times 2. Okay, and then uh, we can cancel out the 2. And then this will give us uh, x arc sine x plus uh, u to the power of 1 half. We go back to our x, so therefore it will become square root of 1 minus x square. Okay, so finally we, we were able to get the integral of arc sine x with respect to x, which is equal to x arc sine x plus the square root of 1 minus x square plus the constant. Okay, now same strategy will be used for the integral of arc cosine x, okay? So let's uh, do this for our cosine x. So once again, we can express this as a product of 1 and arc cosine x dx. And then we let u be equal to arc cosine x because we can easily give the derivative of this, which is negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. And then our dv over dx is equal to 1 and then integrate that to get the v, so therefore v is equal to x. So uh, use integration by parts, and then uh, we have uv, we have this u, we have this v, so it will become x times r cosine x minus the integral of x 
times the du dx, which is negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, then write dx because we are integrating with respect to x. Now, uh, again, uh, apply integration by substitution wherein your u will be 1 minus x squared. The du of this or the derivative of this is negative 2x. And then, um, okay, express this now in terms of u. So you just copy the first term here, okay, you don't need to worry about that. And then this will become the integral of x. Um, this is, um, okay, then our square root of 1 minus x squared will turn out to be u to the power of half. And then our dx from this equation is du over negative 2x. By the way, I already bring out the minus minus, which is, that's why this became positive. All right. Okay, so we are now going to integrate this in terms of u or with respect to u. And we can cancel out the x there and then bring out negative 1 half. And then the integral of u uh, to the power of negative half with respect to u is u to the power of 1 half times 2. Okay, then we can cancel out the 2 there. All right, and then we uh, go back to our x, express u in terms of x. And our final answer will be x times r cosine x minus the square root of 1 minus x squared plus the constant. Okay? Now let's go to the final uh, inverse trigonometric, trigonometric function, which is r tangent x. Now the strategy, again, is the same thing. So uh, express this as a product of 1 times r tangent x. And then you let u be r tangent x. We have a derivative of this which is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then our dv over dx is equal to 1. And then therefore v is equal to x. So I think um, when you go to arc tangent x, you're already used to the strategy. So you can easily get the uh, integral of arc tangent x, right? So once again, use integration by parts. And then you will have uv, which is x times arc tangent x minus the integral of uh, v, which is our x. And then our du dx is 1 over 1 plus x squared with respect to x, right? So it's the same. Next thing to do here is to integrate by substitution wherein our u is equal to 1 plus x squared. The derivative of our u will be 2x, okay? And then express this now uh, in terms of u or let's integrate that with respect to u. So copy the first term x arc tangent x minus... Uh, this will be the integral of x. Note that u is 1 plus x squared, and that will be x over u here. And then our dx is uh, du over 2x, okay? So it is important that we are integrating this in terms also of u, okay? That's why we have to get the expression for du, all right? So uh, we can cancel out dx there and then bring out the negative half outside of the integral and then we will we will be left with the integral of du over u I'm, I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with it in which the answer is just ln u so the integral of arc tangent x with respect to x is will be equal to x arc tangent x minus one half ln u and then we need to go back to our x so we're in our u is one plus x squared so therefore our final answer is x arc tangent x minus half ln 1 plus x squared. Then don't forget to add the constant, okay? So you can also use this strategy when you are integrating ln x, okay? Uh, because we don't know the integral of it, but there is a derivative. So uh, yeah, okay? So hope that you learned something from me today. See you next time. Goodbye.